Bora Bora. Today we are on the Dream Island. We are going to swim with the stingrays and even with some curious sharks. We're gonna make a reality check and I'm gonna rent a motor scooter to go around the island. We're gonna discover the most beautiful lagoon in the world by motorboat and we're gonna fly the drone. We're gonna meet some locals and I'm gonna show you the real face of the island, not the Photoshop images you are seeing on the Instagram. So be sure to stick until the end to see how it goes. I am Guide Angelo and I welcome you to the travelogue. Have fun! Bora, bora!
green. Okay, come close, huh? Yeah. Yeah. Sand on the bed is very good for your skin, you know. If you if you want to get a nice skin like me, I'm gonna show you there. Alright? Then we're gonna circle the rest of the island coming from the northeast, from the north, show you the airport that we have here in Bora Bora. That had been built by the Americans during the World War II. Alright? Then show you the cannon, one of the cannon and the bunker, you can see it from the boat. So you'll be able to see it. Alright? Then our last stop would be on the ship um, to drop you off. So if you have any questions as we circle the island, feel free to ask. All right, we'll be more than happy to help you out. Okay, do you guys have any questions before we start? No questions? All good? Good? Okay. Donc les Français. Okay, donc bon après-midi à tout le monde. Et bienvenue au Cabo Le Hilton, qui est maintenant fermé pour rénovation. Donc ils sont sur le nom de... Les hôtels ici, ils ont, ils ont très évolué. Donc ils sont en train de tout refaire. Il y a des tuyaux qui, re, qui relient les eaux de tous les, tous les microbes qu'il y a dans l'eau. Le Hilton Resort. Le Hilton Resort. Mais maintenant, il est closed pour rénovation. that had been built in French Polynesia and here in Bora Bora in 1961. That was the Bora Bora Hotel. And now it's closed. It closed like about 10 years ago for different reasons. The main reason is that money issues, right? Because here, most of the resort, they don't buy the land, but they lease them or they rent them. So on this land here, there were different owners, different families owning the land. We're not getting along because of money. Right? The other one was getting more money than the other one. Then they had to find a plan to fix that problem. And they did it. They fixed it. Everyone was agreed. 
they, they got the same amount for everyone. So once that problem was resolved, they renew the whole hotel. Nice over water, Bengaloo, everything. Very nice, well located. And just five months later, it had a cyclone, a hurricane, that destroyed everything. So now it's been left over like this for about 10 years. I really enjoyed my stay at Bora Bora, even if it was with just two days too short for a really profound impression. Maybe that's why 
I enjoyed more Morea, where I've spent one week. But everything is subjective, and maybe I will be fortunate enough to be back on Bora Bora again one day. Until then, check out the Polynesian playlist and see you soon in another video. Bye bye and juice.